Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Bruce DePriest. Well, today certainly is cold for sure, but you know, we've only had two colder than normal days this month during the first 14 days of February. So overall, it's been a pretty warm month. The average temperature so far is 34.7 at uh, Windsor Locks. That's a surplus. I should not say a surplus, but I should say we're 6.4 degrees above normal. Now, this average will likely come down a little bit between now and midnight because we haven't quite reached our low for the day as of yet. As far as precipitation goes, 1.75 inches. Now that includes rain plus the water equivalent of snow and ice. We're about a third of an inch ahead of normal, but snowfall, not even a half an inch so far this month. And we're about 5.7 inches behind normal. All right, there's our ICAM in Torrington. Clear skies, that's one ingredient for a cold night. Clear skies, the cold air is already in place, and with the wind diminishing, temperatures will really hit rock bottom later on tonight. Nice and clear in uh, Hartford, but the sun is uh, still up a little bit. It's going to go down in a few minutes from now, and there's our ICAM in New Haven showing some late-day sun. Temperature-wise, we're in the teens in the Litchfield Hills. Hartford is 24. It's 25 degrees in New Haven. Waterbury, 19 already. It's 23 in Willimantic, and you factor in the wind, and it already feels like zero in Salisbury. So we have wind chills in the single digits and teens and it's not going to get any better as we go through this evening. In fact, in the Litchfield Hills, some of those wind chills could go below zero by around seven o'clock this evening. But for the most of us, we're going to be in the single digits and low teens for wind chills. And as we go into a midnight, it's not going to get much better with wind chills ranging anywhere from five below to ten above. Now the wind chill will come up a little bit by morning. That's because the wind is going to drop off, but the temperature itself is going to uh, bottom out in these single digits. All right, as far as the uh, northeast goes, we've got cold air in place. Five in Burlington, Vermont right now, 10 degrees in Syracuse. That's high pressure moving in with cold air. It's one reason why we got the clear skies right now. It's going to stay pretty clear as we go through the night on into uh, the day tomorrow. So you can see that we'll have clear skies tonight and for tomorrow, Saturday, a nice sunny start to your day and we'll keep the sunshine pretty much all day long. Now the good news about tomorrow is the wind is going to be a lot lighter with high pressure over us. So lows tonight will range from 0 to 10 above. Now the coldest temperature we've had so far at Windsor Locks this winter is 4 and we could get pretty close to that as we go through uh, late tonight and early tomorrow morning and your highs for tomorrow are going to be ranging from the mid 20s to the low 30s, maybe 30 to 35 along the I-95 corridor. All right, here's your seven day forecast. Sunday, a better day, a partly sunny day and a high of 44 than Monday, mostly sunny and 38. The next storm comes in on Tuesday. If there is a wintry mix in the morning, it will change to rain. The storm taking a warm track like we've seen so often this winter, a high of 44 on Tuesday, then Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, it's going to turn cold again. 20s and 30s for highs, nighttime lows in the single digits and teens for the shoreline for this weekend. 34 tomorrow, a much better 45 on Sunday. Sounds good.